Well, hello everybody, and today um, we we had um, a sort of an ongoing uh, discussion about sound, and hopefully uh, we're well, sort of starting to rectify any problems that you, the viewers, uh, might have with hearing what we say. Now, a lot of people have said the sounds just fine, um, but other people have said well it's far too quiet and it doesn't match the sort of sound levels of other sort of random videos that they've heard and the most recent comment from Dave W so thanks Dave for that um, has said that you know he's sort of listened to that and he's got the sound turned right up and he's still having problems hearing and then uh, he sort of tried that with a with a randomly chosen YouTube video, and that sound is uh, fine. So, um, I've, you know, I'm just trying to trying to get to a point where the sound is the best uh, that we can make it. You know, ultimately, you know, you can spend thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of pounds on camera and and sound equipment. Um, to get sound just right but uh, you know we've been doing what we can um, on top of the camera at the moment as regular viewers will know we use a Rode Video Micro uh, which is a directional or shotgun mic with a wind guard on um, and that seems to work okay but still the sound is quiet at the moment I'm about maybe five feet away from that microphone um, and I'm hoping that the sound levels on this will be a little bit boosted I'm, I'm always um, troubled by boosting sound in post-production um, because it, it shouldn't need to be and it might be because you know that maybe the camera settings are a bit low or you know we're not we're not picking up the right sort of sounds um, I like to keep the camera boost a bit low um, because that tends to peak things out and makes things a bit um, noisy uh, in terms of the sound quality. But you will all be, uh, well, regular viewers, you guys will know that we've been talking about getting some radio mics. Now you notice I don't have a radio mic on at the moment, um, but we do have um, the first of the Roadlink uh, um, Filmmaker mics that we're going to be using. Now these things, um, they come as a sort of camera top um, receiver and a belt pack. Um, and I'll just show you, this is the, the sort of belt pack that we're going to be using. So it's either a, it's a belt clip or body pack, as some people call them, and it is a battery-operated radio mic. I'm just sort of getting rid of the packaging and showing you. Uh, I've had it out of the box already, but this is effectively what it is. It's a sort of radio transmitter. Um, it's battery powered, two AA batteries will go in there. I'll be using rechargeables uh, for that. And there's a simple on on off button up there. And um, there's similarly, there is a um, receiver pack that goes on top of the camera. So this goes here, but there is one other piece of, um, piece of kit. And that is the uh, lapel mic or lavelier mic uh, that goes, that clips onto the shirt or as people would say this clips on, this clips onto the talent as it were. Now what, this, this microphone is tiny small, um, it is really really tiny, there it is. Um, it comes with that clip which that clip sort of uh, is sort of undoes like that 
there's a little sort of spring spring mount there that you'll see and that clips onto this mic it's all fixed on there that doesn't have a wind guard on at the moment there is a a sort of uh, small wind guard like that there that, that sort of pops on top um, there is a larger wind guard for really really windy weather and that also just pops on top makes the microphone um, really super huge actually if you can find the find the opening that it goes into I think it's about there so that sits on top of the microphone like so in really really outdoor windy weather and that will just clip on to my shirt here and I can get it get that to work so that's on the shirt there so sort of reasonably unnoticeable that can go down inside the shirt and then the other end will clip onto um, the transmitter so all the all the aerials are inside this pack and then that so that will clip onto the belt there and then all of that so I've got microphone here not switched on at the moment so we're not we're still using the camera top mic um, but in probably in, in tomorrow's video we'll be radio mic'd and be able to show you what um, what that sound is like and we'll be able to switch over between the the camera or the shotgun mic and the road um, the road link uh, filmmaker radio mics and see what that that sound is like but that's um, that's where we're going with the sound uh, again thanks to all those people that have um, made comment about the sound and the level of the sound we really will try to do better in future and try to improve these videos as we go um, you know you know we make a daily video um, blog about what we do we live full time in a motorhome uh, and travel and currently we're planning our trip down to Devon. We're going on another auto trail rally um, at Brixham pretty soon. So uh, who knows if you've got an auto trail and you're on that rally, maybe we'll see you there. If you do spot us, pop over and say hello. Anyway, that's it for now and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.